Hello, so welcome to our discussion on the linear voltage regulators. So as you can see on your screen, we have this uh, particular circuit that we are going to analyze. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel for more technical and informative contents. And if you like the video, share it with others. So this circuit has the input voltage source, which is unregulated unregulated power supply and uh, we need uh, regulators in almost all power supplies in the electronic devices and circuits so you have an input voltage v in and you have an, an output voltage v out so there will be a difference about these two voltages we'll see what this voltage means what this voltage difference means so this circuit consists of a pass device is essentially a Darlington pair, as you can show in the dotted square box. So that is a Darlington, Darlington transistor pair. And we will see how this circuit works and all that. So it has a device, two devices, NP and transistors. Uh, these are NP and transistor. They are in a series. And this is your P and P transistor. And let's call it a transistor Q2. And the couple of these transistors called it as Q1. This is another transistor. Let's call it a Q3. Then you have an operational amplifier, a difference amplifier, which is also called as an error amplifier. Then you have two resistor R1 and R2. And uh, you are putting those uh, resistors in series connection as shown so that uh, at the middle of them, there is a voltage uh, drop created, which is fed to the inverting or negative input of the error amplifier, whereas the positive input is connected to, to the reference. There is an external reference supply uh, that is applied to the positive input. Finally, you have this load resistance RL, that is connected uh, through which the load current is seen flowing. So this pass device that is the Q1 in this regulator, it's made up of NP and Darlington pair. And this Darlington pair is driven by this transistor Q2 actually, which is a PNP transistor. Okay. And now the current coming out of this emitter, that is the IE, which is nothing but the current through the load IL uh, is essentially being controlled by this transistor Q2. So you see, because this transistor NPN transistor uh, collector is connected to the base of this uh, Q and Darlington pair. Okay. Now, uh, so, and this, uh, the Q2 is being controlled by uh, the Q3 and the Q3 is being controlled by this error amplifier. Resistances are R1 and R2 are chosen in such a way that the current through them is negligible as compared to the load current. Error amplifier will constantly adjust its output voltage and the current through transistor Q1 to force these two voltages to be equal. That is the voltages at the negative and the positive uh, input terminal of this amplifier. Okay, uh, so now uh, you will see that this feedback loop, uh, which is set by the resistance R1 and R2, this resistance R1 and R2, they are basically setting this uh, loop so that the voltage across uh, this uh, final voltage that is the regulated voltage uh, can be controlled so this feedback loop uh, continuously holds this regulated output at a fixed value uh, which is usually the multiple of the v reference so n times v reference right here okay and this okay. reference voltage is set uh, by the by the uh, register divider r1 and r2 Okay, and the purpose of the error amplifier to adjust 
the two voltages that is at the positive and the negative to be equal to force them to be equal so that there is no error out here if any error comes then that is going to control the current for q1 as we've seen that now there is one concept called as transient response uh, transient response of uh, the regulator so what does that mean the transient response means if there is a step change in the value of a resistor so it means there is a sudden increase uh, or decrease in the load current so the output voltage v output will change which is undesirable and th this feedback loop that is the combination of resistor R1, R2, error amplifier, then Q1 uh, to control the IL will take some time to adjust and bring back the V out to its original value. That is called as transient response of the regulator. Okay, so that was some basics about the analysis of this uh, standard regular linear voltage regulator circuit. So hope you like this video. If you did so, share with others and stay tuned for more informative content. Wish you happy learning.